thing again too, by the way. Do I have anything cooked? Cooked pork chop, that'll help. Hold it down to eat. Bam. I'm not going to eat another thing just to... because I don't need healing, but the health bar itself is getting pretty low, so... figured I'd better eat to take care of that. So anyways, yeah, if, you, if you're if you into the branch binding and stuff, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not against you doing it. It's not my kind of thing, but if you're doing it, doing it, it's fine. But if you're making videos for it, you know, remember that sprint's there, so when you're going across it back and forth, you can get through it a little faster. Just putting that out there. I have no idea where to go. See, look at how huge the seas are. Kind of ridiculous. I guess I'll go back this way. Could make a boat and go across the water there, but... <coughs> I've seen other people use boats and they're still crappy as ever. They need to be doing something about that, by the way. They need to make the boats sturdier or give us some form of metal boats or something. Because the boats we got now are still pretty much crap. Waterfalls are cool. There seems to be a lot more of the natural waterfalls, by the way. Oh, and here we are in a rocky outcropping. Which is going to serve no useful purpose for finding villages. <sighs> Looks like I might have to make a boat after all. Because the game hates me. As I've said multiple times before, the game hates me. I was going to say, where'd my workbench go? But I have it. Finally running out of wood, looks like. So let's go around, see if we can avoid the... He's weird random rock outcroppings. Uh, you'll notice, you can kind of see under the water there the effects of how deep the water now is, which is pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Hopefully we come across some more flat land areas, maybe lend itself to village spawning. I know I seem rather obsessed with that goal, but I've had people say that, oh, they're everywhere. They're not rare at all. So I, I just really want to go find one just to show you guys how much effort I have to go through to find one. I mean, how many Minecraft days has it been now? We have yet to find one. This is annoying. I'm just going to stop here, whatever. Let me out. Boat, have a good life. Bye. Probably never see you again. <laughs> I have no idea where spawn is. I'm, I wonder just how far I've wandered from the original spawn at this point.
another lava pool. <coughs> so, what else to talk about? Um, Like I said, in my upcoming series... Ah! Oh, village! Finally! Oh my god, finally! Oh my god! Finally! Okay, I want you guys to go back to the very first video in this series that I uploaded today. Go back, however many videos it was. Figure out how long from this point, from the beginning to this point, I've been searching. Because from the very start of this particular world that we are on, to now I've been searching for a village it's taken me this long oh my god you guys you have no idea it's taken me this long to find one of these stupid things I told you they're incredibly rare and you guys who find them all the time you're just incredibly freaking lucky oh my god I've been trying to find this forever in five days seems like how long has it been now? Nearly an hour, maybe? Half hour? I, I don't know. I haven't been keeping track of time. But man, it's been forever. I don't even know how many Minecraft days and stuff. And this one has actual farms in it. Wheat. That's super fantastic. God, I can't believe it's... Man, it takes forever to find one of these places for me. And there's the well, of course. This is also the biggest village that I've come across. The other, the other ones didn't even have farms. That one in the Creeper Island Seed, and then one other one I happened to find. Neither of them had farms, but looks like this one kind of does. I hate that some of these get buried. Ridiculous world generation burying them. Anyways, before I got distracted, finally finding a village. Oh my god. I wish I knew how far from spawn we actually were, so that could it could even show you guys with more proof how just how ridiculously rare these stupid things are. fantastic nothing see this is what I'm talking about them about these villages the concepts cool and I, I don't get me wrong I obviously really like them but there's nothing to them nothing this is about as creative as they get and it's like come on I know they're you know they've got to be pre-made prefab things so they can't be too intricate but come on Put a little bit of effort into it. Just a little bit. And stop burying them. Nothing. Oh well, um... I guess I'll just move into this house here. Everybody else seems to take this house. <laughs> I swear, every video that I've ever seen of somebody in a Minecraft village here, they always take this house. I don't know I don't know why it is, but they always take this house. Lucklin took this house. Um, who else was it that took this house? Somebody else did. They moved in here. Oh, I can't remember now. 
Maybe it was just luck. I don't. I don't remember. I've seen several videos where they've taken this specific designed house. I don't know if it's because it's the biggest or what, but let's go ahead and see if we can get it daytime. I guess we can. I've been told from the wiki that these window panes, these glass panes here, um, aren't considered secure. I guess they're not considered full blocks or whatever. So nightmares still can happen if you build out of this. But apparently you need to build like huge windows for that to have any kind of effect because these villages here don't seem to have that problem. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave my bed here for now since we're in a village. I'm going to leave this as my spawn point. For now, I'm probably going to pick a different house just because I'm annoyed with everybody and their dog picking this house design. I think I'd rather pick a different one, but hopefully I can find one that isn't a single little room like that. Um, anyways, well, I'm so happy to have found this. I was going to say, I should have a crap ton of gravel now. That'll work. Oh, it's the same house design! Oh my god, see? See what I'm talking about, people? The, the villages, as much as I love them, they need something. They need, they need to be made out of different materials, for one. I don't even care. These these two could have been the same house design. This one and the other one that I ended up sleeping in could have been the same house design. But for crying out loud, they could have been made out of different materials. The house itself could have been wood and the roof could have been cobblestone stairs or whatever, but there has to be some sort of variation. Something. Otherwise, they're all the freaking same place. See, here's another one. Same exact building, only it's, uh, it's flipped around. Yeah. I don't know if I don't know if Mojang's limited in their imagination for house design or if they really are limited somehow by the game to only a few designs. But my gosh. Bomb people vary it up a bit. <sighs> Anyways, um Oh fantastic, we have reeds in this Look at this, like a little pool. That's pretty neat. Best thing about these villages is if you can find one with the farms, the ready-made farms. That's the that's the very best part about one of these villages is the ready-made farms. Um, doesn't matter. You can take down the houses and rebuild them if they really get to bugging you, like they bug me. But and what's the point of having a dirt in this building, by the way. Shouldn't that be wood or something? Maybe that's just the storage shed. That's probably what it is for the farms. I don't know. But the best part is having the farms because they're ready-made, especially if you're going to move into a village. Uh, it's great to have ready-made farm just available for you. I would suggest if you're going to use these farms, though, if you're going to stay in the village or even around the village, you take the time to make a fence or some sort of thing to block animals and whatnot from getting inside. Otherwise, within a few days, the farms are going to be ruined fairly quickly. And it's not going to take very much effort. Oh, I can't believe I finally found a village. I am so happy. So happy. must be another storage shed. <sighs> I feel better. I feel better now that I found the village. It's kind of silly actually because like I said I don't really like the designs of the of the village itself but at the same time they're cool. It's pretty unique different so that's that's 
I mainly like them for their novelty, for just being here, even though their designs suck and I would never make a building the way these are made, but still, just the novelty of them being around, I guess, is enough for me. And these are new iron bars, by the way, in case you're wondering. Lava! I think I'm going to go ahead and find my bed and move on. Because as awesome as this village is, and as awesome as I'd like to stay here and just kind of uh, hang out and make this my home. Um, there's a workbench in here. Oh, this is the one with the bookshelves. This is the most intricate house design out of all of these villages is the one with the book house, the, the, the seating and the tables, and the workbench. That's as intricate as any of these seem to get. Um, why would it be designed like this? Look how far up in the air this is. Oh my god, it's either got to bury that house or be way up here. God, that's so ridiculous. Why? Why? That's another thing the uh, Mojang team needs to work on is the placement of these villages. It's got a... I realize it's kind of depending on, you know, just how the world gets placed, but come on. This is actually a handy spot. I should probably just put my bed there and sleep here. <laughs> Whatever. Um, yeah. Is this the one where I slept in? Yes, it is. Lucky for me. Right. Another advantage to these NPC villages is even if you're not going to stay here, you can cannibalize the place for resources if you want to. I'm not really interested in that, but... I know some people are. <coughs> Some people will come into these villages and just literally take them down for their wood and their ladders and their glass panes or torches, all of that stuff. They'll just take it down because it's free stuff. I think I'd rather leave them. Uh, if I spent any significant time in one of these villages, I'd probably redesign it just because the buildings are ugly and some of them end up misplaced like that, but... I don't think I'd cannibalize them. I'd probably spend more resources redesigning them than getting whatever free stuff they offer. <sighs> Anyways, we found a village. And I'm happy. The one thing the villages are missing that I think should be corrected is that <coughs> at least some of the buildings... Whoops, be right back. Sorry about that, game crashed again. But anyways, as I was saying, um, some of the buildings should have chests in them uh, with items, and the items themselves should be not particularly great items, like worn out either stone tools or wood tools or something like that, or leather armors. Um, stuff that you probably wouldn't be too interested in looting, necessarily. You know, every once in a while there could be a really cool item in there, but... Um, just stuff to show that these have been lived in, you know? I think that would be a pretty cool change, cool addition. Anyways, goodbye, long fought for, searched for village. I will miss you dearly. Um, I don't know how this is going to help you guys, but I'll go ahead and show the F3 coordinates for those of you interested in finding this village on this world. That's where it is. X233 Y71 Z negative 301 F, whatever that means, 1. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, seed apparently goes by a bunch of random numbers there. So yeah, there you go. Alrighty then.
You could also use the seed that I used to generate this world to begin with, if you've been keeping up with all the videos. Um, Any hoozle, let's keep exploring, shall we? Actually, I think now that I've found that village, I'm going to be ending this set of videos fairly soon, because my ultimate end goal has been achieved, finding the village and showing you guys just how freaking rare they are for me to find. Oh my god, took forever to find that. Um, so I'm going to end this recording session pretty soon, but uh, yeah, it's going nighttime. I might as well just go back to the village and sleep and end it there. Um, I'm not going to end this particular mini-series, I guess you'd call it, because we could still go explore for abandoned mines or the strongholds, but uh, I'm going to end this recording session for now, get these videos rendered and uploaded for you guys to watch. And either tomorrow I'll get started on my official 1.8 series with the Apparently Pack, or I'll keep working on this one depending on how my health is turning out with my cough and whatnot that's going on. That's making my commentary kind of crap every now and then. Let's just go back here. I don't even know why I took the bed down. I'm retarded, I guess. Also, does anybody else but me notice the door is on the wrong side? I guess it mat it doesn't matter as much because enemies can't hit you through here and you can't hit them through the door anymore, but still, it's annoying. Uh, bed. Bed, bed, bed. It's night time, let me sleep. So yeah, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. Finally found a village. Uh, I'm the good old gamer, and this has been Exploration into Beta 1.8. Um, we'll continue on sometime in the future. I don't know if it's going to be sooner or later, depending mostly on my health at this point. But uh, we'll continue on to explore. I guess an abandoned mine would be the next one since a stronghold is very rare and possibly never going to be able to find one of them on this world, or any world, I don't know. That's just all a matter of luck, but anyways, look forward to that randomness later. But as always, bye for now.